was a great exhibition. It was end-to-end. -end. You had the likes of your Van Goghs, your Toulouse, your your Renoirs, all turning up for the big occasion. The Royal Academy is a tough place to go at the best of times, but they turned in some terrific performances this afternoon. Manet's pastel sketches showed that he really had great technique for a big man, and I very much enjoyed the high intensity of the lad Dagar. He was finding pockets of light all over his ethereal interpretations. I mean, he's a top, top painter. Uh, the dreamlike renderings of Monet proved that he can be good with his left hand as well as his right. And I know he was struggling to find form at the start of the season and people said that, you know, that he lacked composure in the final third of the canvas. Uh, but as soon as he got one powerful symbolic impressionist masterpiece under his belt, loads more came shortly afterwards. And as expected, he went on a little run after that. And I couldn't be happier for the boy. He's a smashing lad by all accounts. And uh, after this performance, he's sure to be knocking on the Royal Academy president's door saying, you know, give me a shot at a full retrospective gaffer. So, yeah, all in all, you know, the exhibition was a tremendous victory. The lads really put a shift in, but they've got to keep doing that week in, week out. Uh, it's just a shame that they lost Dagar for the rest of the season with a recurrence of that niggling injury he's got. You know, syphilis.